Hello, welcome to part 53 of Clinical Physiotherapy MCQ series. Here, we are going to discuss day-to-day -day clinical scenarios with detailed explanation. Let's do not waste much time. Let's move to question number 261. Hypertrophy in muscular response to strength training. This can be expected to occur following at least Option A 1 to 2 weeks of training, Option B 2 to 3 weeks of training, Option C 3 to 4 weeks of training, Option D 6 to 8 weeks of training. And the answer is Option D 6 to 8 weeks of training. Explanation to this question is Hypertrophy is the increase in muscular size as a result of resistance training and can be observed following at least 6 to 8 weeks of training. Individual muscle fibers are enlarged, contain more actin and myosin and have more larger myofibrils. Now let's move to question number 262. Which of the following terms describe the intense redness of the skin observed after icing? Option A. Pallor. Option B. Hypothemia. Option C. Cyanosis. Option D. Vasospasm. And the answer is Option B. Hypothemia. Explanation to this question is, by definition, hypothemia is the intense redness or rubber caused by increased blood flow. Now let's move to question number 263. A physical therapist is examining a patient with cervical spinal cord injury and observes that the patient is able to press up from the wheelchair using a elbow extensor. Which spinal level must be intact to perform this maneuver? Option A, C4. Option B, C5. Option C, C6. Option D, C7. And the answer is Option D, C7. Explanation to this question is The C7 myotome is elbow and wrist extension which would allow the patient to perform a press up from the chair. Option A, the C4 myotome is shoulder shrugging. Option B, the C5 myotome is biceps and elbow flexion. Option C, the C6 myotome is wrist flexion. Now let's move to question number 264. A physical therapist evaluates a 65-year-old patient with psoriasis for treatment with ultraviolet radiation. The patient's history includes the following information. Total hip arthroplasty one year ago, penicillin allergy, calcium supplements since the menopause and daily tetracycline used for the past two weeks for urinary tract infection. Which of these factors should alert the physiotherapist to use the extra caution when applying ultraviolet light? Option A. Arthroplasty with metal implant. Option B. Daily tetracycline use. Option C. Penicillin allergy. Option D. Long-standing calcium supplement use. And the answer is Option B. Daily tetracycline use. Explanation to this question is Caution should be used in patients who are taking tetracycline because the drug will enhance the effect of ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet is not contraindicated in these patients. However, the dosage of ultraviolet would be probably have be adjusted to the some lower level. The penicillin allergy, calcium supplements and the metal plants not affected by the ultraviolet light. It should be noted that although the ultraviolet radiation therapy is not common today, therapy should nonetheless be aware of the precautions and be able to advise patients who may using ultraviolet radiation at home. Now let's move to question number 265. A physical therapist is treating a patient with diabetic ulcer on cough, just superior to medial malleolus. The wound is discharging heavy amount of prolent drainage. Which type of dressing will be the most effective for this wound? Option A. Calcium Agilinate Option B. Hydrocolite Option C. Silicon Gel Sheeting Option D. Hydrogel And the answer is Option A. Calcium Alginate Explanation to this question is Alginate are very absorbed and are indicated for heavy draining wounds. Option B. Hydrocolytes are absorbed but are used for low to medium amount of drainage. Option C. Silicone gel sheeting is used to decrease the progression of keloid scarring. Option D. Hydrogel is primarily for dry wounds and help to create a moist healing environment. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. I'll be back with part 54 of this series. See you then. Bye bye. See you. Thank you.